Y'all can do that for me. Send this out to three people and comment done. All right, we ain't going to make this long, though. All right, so look, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about just three three quick... I said three. I'm going to talk about three quick ways that that you guys can win in 2023. Three quick ways that you can win in 2023. If you're ready, type ready. Listen, if you're ready, type ready. This is going to be quick and easy. We're going to be on here for about 10 or 15 minutes tops. But I need y'all to type ready. I'm going to tell you about three th three things that you can do to win in 2023. And if you're ready, type ready in the chat. And listen, if you listen to me say, hey, type ready in the chat, and you're watching and you're waiting for me to say the three things, but you're not typing ready, I want you to understand one thing that I learned about success and about successful people and successful principles are how you do anything is how you do everything. In life, how you do anything is how you do everything. So believe it or not, how you're showing up right now, right here on this Instagram live is exactly how you show up in life. You see, if you're the person that's watching and I'm saying something that you want to take part in, but you're not taking part and you're just watching, you're basically called a spectator, right? When you go to a basketball game, when you go to a football game, when you go to a soccer game, when you go to a hockey match, when you go to a boxing match, there's people who are participating, people who are on the field, people who are on the court, people who are in the ring, they are participating. And then there's other people who are in the stadium, they are in the stands and they are spectating. And you got to put yourself in position to finally participate in things, right? You don't want to be a spectator all your life. Like all your life, you are in the building, you are around success, you see people taking action action, but you can never participate. So let's go ahead and work on in 2023, actually being participants and not being spectators. All right. So if I say, Hey, y'all, I'm about to give you three things that you can do to really win in 2023. And I say, if you're ready, type ready, just type ready. You're already here. Stop being a spectator. Stop just watching. Stop being comfortable. Stop being okay with just being in the arena. Be the person that wants to be on the floor. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? All right, let me go ahead and pin my chat. Because I got, I, got, I, got, I got all excited and I didn't even pin it. All right, so cool. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. So I'm going to talk about three things real quick that y'all can do to have a very successful 2023. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to read. <laughs> all right? To read. And listen, here's the thing, y'all. Um, I know These may be things that you don't like to do. These may be things that you don't do. But um, I'm telling you, it will it will change like successful people. Like one of the characteristics of successful people is they read. Now, here's the thing. I'm a person that I don't personally like to physically read books. Now, these, these are some books. I'll show you guys some books that I have and, I, and I'll let you guys um, and I'll and I'll read some of these books out uh, so you guys can see it. These are just these are some of my favorite books right here. Right. And I'll, I'll give you guys some of that in a second. Right. But here's the thing. I'm a person that I'm always busy and I'm always doing things. And for me to and for me to actually read a book like one of these, and these are all books that I actually read, by the way, right? Um, and I got a bunch more up there. But I, I'm so busy and I'm always on the move. So for me to actually read a book now, it's a little bit more challenging for me versus when I worked the job. When I worked the job, it was a lot easier for me to read a book because when I got on the train in New York City in the morning, I could literally read. Now... It's harder because every day I'm in action. I'm in motion all day. So what I learned to do was actually listen to books. So I actually get audio books. So if you guys don't know, you can download. Um, it's on. Uh, it's through Amazon. It's called Audible. And you can actually listen to people read books to you. So, you know, you could be doing some kind of work. You could be at your job and you can literally have, you know, audible plan and it could be reading a book. So over the last two days, I listened to a book, which means you can get through it a lot faster, which is which is really good for me, because with my um, with the things that I do and my pace at life, I need to move at a fast speed. So I need things that happen fast. When I when I when I used to actually physically read the books. For me, I'm a very slow reader, which is why I never like to read. I read slow, right? And I get very distracted. Like I'll read and I'll be looking over here. I'll be reading, but thinking about something else. So it's it's harder for me to actually read a book. But I, you know, for me to create success, I did it anyway. Um, but now it's a lot easier for me to actually listen to a book being read. So if you download Audible, I pay like $14 a month. And basically with that, I think it's $14 a month. And with that, I get a free book a month. So all I do is I pay and then I just use it to download a book, right? Pretty simple. And I download 
all of the most expensive books with the $14 and any book that comes out and it's like three bucks, I'll just pay for it. I'm not going to use a free, you know, a free book for a $3 book, right? I'll use it for the $20 books. Okay. So, um, read. So here's some good books to read. These are some of my favorite books. I'm going to let y'all know some of these. Um, but I'm just telling you guys, these are like characteristics of successful people. So if you want to have a successful 2023, like one of the things that you can do is start reading or start listening to books being read. All right. So here's uh, some of my favorite. So this one is Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Right. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. That's by T. Harp Ecker. Um, very good book. Actually, I'm going to I think I'm going to read this one again next because this this actually matches the season that I'm in with some things I want to do with my um, with my money. So this really tells you how to manage your money. He talks about um, these different principles and he talks about a, a millionaire um, mindset and a millionaire blueprint. So he tells you like how to, you know, how to like um, break down your money into certain percentages and all that good stuff. Right. He, he explains why I haven't read this book in probably a good five or so years. So um, right now with with me being in a season of my life where I'm creating a good amount of income and I want to be more um, I want to be more. How do I say this? I want to be more disciplined with my money and, and you know, just more. Um, I'm looking for a word, but I can't catch it. Anyway, I get the point. Like, I want to be more um, um, purposeful, disciplined. I want to be better. Let's just say that I want to be better with how I spend my money, with what I do with my money. So I'm going to actually read this one next. I'm finishing up a book tonight. I could have finished it last night. I only have 18 minutes left, but I jumped in the shower and I didn't want to the noise from the shower to be overpowering the book. So I'm going to actually finish that right now before I get in the shower. So um, one thing you can do is definitely read. If you're a person that you don't like to read, just literally listen to audio books. So I listen to audio books at night. I do a lot of work. I put my, my phone on the stand. I put a book on and I can just read. I can listen to like two hours of a book and then boom, very done. Intentional. There you go. Come on. Come on. The Royal Latoya, I appreciate you. That's the word I was looking for. So I want to be more intentional, better, you know, better and more intentional with my money. All right, cool. So that's a good one. Let's go. Let's go to another one. Uh, and also, listen to this. I'm, I'm gonna say something. I want you to catch this. I want you to catch this. It's also possible to read the right book at the wrong time. I'm gonna say that again because that might have went over your head. That was like. That was real pro prophetic right there, right? It's possible to read the right book at the wrong time, right? So here's some books, right? So uh, The Leader Who Had No Title. Very good book, right? The Leader Who Had No Title. Now, if you're a person that you're about to start a business and you don't have no one to lead, you probably don't want to read that right now because you don't got nobody to lead, which is OK. Right. So you also want to read certain books like I read books and seasons, which is why I said I'm about to read Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, because I know this is the season I'm in right now. Like I need to be, you know, very intentional with my money. I need to be very disciplined and I need to show and I don't push my beliefs on anyone, but I need to prove to God that I am capable and able to handle the type of money that I expect to, to earn this year. You understand that? So if I can't handle what I have right now, why would he give me more? And I feel like I could be a I feel like I can be a lot better. Right? So for me, if 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 I if I know I'm gonna accomplish the goals financially that I'm looking to accomplish, then I know I need to start being very intentional with my the money that I have now. Because if I'm not, why would he give me more? And I feel like I've made some you know, dumb errors over the year, over the last year, I made some mistakes. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, um, I don't know why I'm not finding my words, but, but some things I was, I was moving too fast and I didn't, you know, I didn't take the right step. So these are things that I need to learn. Right. So, um, so, uh, that's, that's a good one. Oh, here's another good one for you guys right here. Start with why, right? Start with why by Simon Sinek. Um, honestly, if you don't know why you're doing anything, you you probably won't uh, better stew it. Man, you guys are just, you guys are showing up for me. Y'all showing up, better, better stew it. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. You see, I came on here to give and I'm giving. 
This is the kind of people I need to surround myself. Right? You need to surround yourself with the thinking that outthinks you. And some of y'all outthinking me right now, and I appreciate you. I just want you to know that. Right? I appreciate you. Remember that. That see, y'all just y'all just pulled something out of me that I wasn't that I wasn't even going to give. You need to you need to surround yourself with the thinking that outthinks you. You got to be around people that when you can't think of stuff, they can think of stuff. When you don't know how you're going to get there, they know how you're going to get there. So y'all been helping me out, and I appreciate you. All right, so cool. Let's get back to this. Start with why. It's a great book because when you understand why you're doing something, you're more likely to create success. Right? When you understand why you're doing something, you're more likely to create success. Start with why is a great book, and it and it kind of and, and funny thing is what I like about this book is it kind of breaks down. Um, Apple and why Apple is so successful. The company Apple, really good book. Y'all should read that, right? So, so for, for some of you, you you haven't started certain things, or you're not as successful as you want to be with the things that you currently have, and it's probably because you don't have a strong why, a W H Y. Your why is like your reason. It's the reason why you do things, right? And when you have a strong why. Um, that's when, you know, people, uh, or, or things start to happen in your life. And that's when people attach to you. And that's when people will really go to bat for you and everything like that. All right, cool. Let's go ahead. So, um, here's a good book. This is another good book that I definitely have to read again. It's how to win friends and influence people. Why would I need to read that? Well, guess what? Um, when I started this journey and I started with Airbnb, I had no intentions of doing a mentorship program. I had no intentions of doing a course. I had no intentions on being on live and giving information. I just wanted to invest in something. I wanted to invest in something and get some money back. And um, when I started that and I was sharing my journey, a lot of people were reaching out to me, sending me DMs like, hey, could you coach me? Could you mentor me? And I just kept saying no, because I didn't want to do it. And after getting hundreds of DMs and a bunch of people just saying, could you please mentor? Could you please do this? I decided to start a mentorship. And then um, about a year, about a, a few months later, I, I felt like it was my calling to do. And I was like, this is the thing that I've been called to do. Right. So I really over the last six months, I've been every single day hiring people, putting things in position, like literally working on my program because I want it to be the best program out there, right? So for me, I am in a uh, season of my life, right, where I need to really work on winning friends like you and influencing people. So that's something that I need to work, right? So that's what I said. You have to read, you know, it's possible to read the right book at the wrong time, right? But if you find the right books at the right time, you can propel, right? So let's go ahead. Let's see. Um, some of you need this. The Magic of Thinking Big, okay? This is a big one. The Magic of Thinking Big. And I'm going to go through these a lot faster because I want to get to two other things and so we're going to get out of here. But do me a favor real quick. Real quick, y'all. If you're getting some kind of value out of this, I need you to do, two, do me two favors. If you're getting some sort of value, just type value in the chat and send this out to three more people. And how you do that is you click the little arrow or, or the airplane in the bottom right. Right, you click that arrow and you just send this to like three people and then just come in here and comment done. If you did it already, do it again, right? Because this is the year that we multiply. Like this is 2023. Like, don't get comfortable with doing something one time. Don't don't get comfortable with um with, with doing doing addition in your life. Like most people do addition in their life. Like you have one job, you say, Well, I need to get make some more money. So what you do, you add more hours onto the job, or you add another job to your jobs, right? Now you got two jobs, and then you realize later that two jobs for two people. But this is the year that we multiply. Like we we can't get comfortable with just all right. Let me just do it and do a little more. So everybody, listen, we gonna multiply twenty twenty three. I'm getting excited. In any case, I think I was talking about a book. Uh, oh, the magic of the magic of thinking big. So, um, some of you, the only reason you are where you are today is because you don't think big enough. It's simple, right? I'm, oh, I'm gonna give you another. I'm gonna give you another good one. This is about to be prolific, <laughs> right? This is about to, listen. I'm about to give you another one, right? Right. So the magic of thinking big is a good book to read. But let me say this to you In life, you don't get what you want. You only get what you can picture In life. You don't get what you want. You only get what you picture. Right. So a lot of you are not thinking big enough. It takes the same amount of energy to think big that it does to take to think small. So you may be thinking, oh, my God, if I if I could only get one hundred thousand dollars, like it takes the same energy to say or to think about you earning $100,000 as it does for you to think about you making a million dollars or $10 million. So some of you, you are where you are today because you're not thinking big enough. So this may be a good book for you. I'm going to give you all a few more. I'm going to go through this real quick. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> rich dad, poor dad. That is a pillar. If you don't, if you haven't read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, everyone should do it because the principles are there. Um, Soar by T.D. Jakes. This is a good book to actually listen to the audio. I purchased the book. I started reading. And some books I like to actually hear in the, in the person's voice. So believe it or not, so I, I stopped physically reading it and I actually listened to this book. And um, you know, it's another good book. And I think it has a lot of good... Um, it, it's a, it's a good book and I don't like, I don't read books for entertainment. That's just not my thing. Um, I'm not a person that just, I don't, like I told you, I don't really like to read. Um, but there's another book that I was very entertaining while I listened to the audio. I was, it was very entertaining and it was so many, um, lessons in the book. So if you haven't read Kevin's heart, Kevin Hart's book, it's really good. But if I highly suggest that you listen to it cause it's him actually speaking and there's a lot of like lessons in that book. All right. So um, let me see the previous books just jumped on. Um, if you take a screenshot of this real quick, take a screenshot. Y'all can see these are some of the books that I read. So y'all can just look this up at another time. Take a screenshot. All right. I'll let y'all take a screenshot of these up here. These are just some of my favorite books. Um, I put it behind me because all of these had some sort of impact on me. All right. And then I'll give you all some of these ones in the corner. All right. Uh, am I, if I have, do I have that right? Let's do it right here. All right, cool. So, um, so, um, make sure my background ain't looking crazy. Y'all see my lights, right? Y'all see, like, like your boy out here, I'm out here putting in effort. I'm out here putting in effort. And that's another, like, that's, we can go into the, that's another, we gonna talk about that today. But sometimes, some of you, you just gotta do the things. Like, some of you, you, we making too many excuses. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna touch this one. This is a little bonus, right? So, for me in 2020, um, and like last year, I decided I was going to start doing a lot of this, like putting content out, starting the mentorship program. Like this all started like last year, right? And most people make an excuse like, oh, I don't have an office, but I don't have a studio, but you're able to, your, your background looks good. You, you, guys, stop making excuses. You know what I did last You know what I did last year? I said, I looked around my house. I, I live in a two bedroom, a uh, beautiful apartment, beautiful place, beautiful building. And um, it's a two bedroom apartment. So it's like, I don't have that much space. I don't have a studio or a basement, or all that stuff. But um, I said, what can I do? Because I'm going to be talking to people and I want to make sure my background don't look crazy. So what did I did? I, I said, I'm going to create something called Millionaire's Corner. This is literally, look at the TV, y'all. This is literally a corner in my house. This is, right? This is my balcony right here. But I took a little corner. And what I did is I went and I bought a, I bought a can of paint. I went to, um, and I painted the wall, and it took me one day, one night, painted the wall, simple, right? I took the TV off the wall by myself, put it back on, simple stuff. I bought these um, from Target, it's these shelves, right? And I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put these shelves up, put some books up there, put some of my awards up there, and then I bought these pictures um, from Target as well, and I, I forgot which, it was like 30 bucks for the pictures, like 30 bucks for the shelves, like uh, 20 bucks for the paint, nothing crazy, right? And I got a whole area. Y'all, I also took, bought some, I got some lights, like 30 bucks. You get what I'm saying? And um, like recently, I've just been investing in myself, got some, you know, got a microphone to, so, so my audio could sound good. I just bought this. I haven't started using this yet, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, that's like a, a camera um, because I want my, my video to be a little clearer. So like these are little things that you can do, right? These are things you do. So um, Latoya says, I'm a major procrastinator. I invest more time at my job and I do on building my brand. Shame on me. Yeah, right? So, I mean, it's, it's listen, that is, that is what people do, um, but you're not average right and you don't expect to be average you don't pretend to be average so you got to do above average things right so um, a lot of people spend more time working for other people than they do working for and on themselves so yeah you just got you know you being that you know it then you just know what you got to do okay so here's what i learned procrastination i'm gonna give you another gym y'all ready for this one this is profound man this is like the third profound thing i'm about to say your boy's on a roll and i felt like i was gonna be in here for 15 minutes but i'm feeling the energy so here's here we go Procrastination, right? Procrastination is the thief of time. Here's something that I heard at a conference that was, and all of you guys should look this gentleman up and I want you to watch. Um, I posted it in my chat yesterday. I don't know the name of it, but I'm gonna tell y'all something that y'all should all watch on YouTube real quick, right? Um, it's a great, great thing. Something to really kick off your 2023 to help you really earn the way you need to earn in 2023. I'm gonna tell you this, but I was at a conference, right? This is for you, Latoya. I was at a conference 
and I was at a conference. And there was a gentleman by the name of Myron Golden speaking, right? So if you don't know Myron Golden, y'all, write that name down. Honestly, just YouTube him and just watch everything you see. The gentleman is incredible, right? Um, super successful, uh, multi, multi, multi millionaire. I mean, like per month, right? I don't even know how much, I don't know what he's worth, but um, a very intelligent, um, excellent, excellent speaker, excellent mentor. Um, my goal is to join his program. I think it's like $150,000 to join his programs a lot, right? A little bit of money compared to the value that he brings. But in any case, we ain't gonna talk about that. I was, I was at a conference and he was on stage and somebody in the conference asked a question. And the question that the person posed was, right? The question that the person posed was, he said, hey, Myron, if you can go back and do anything different, what would you do? And Myron says something extremely simple, but extremely powerful. Here's what he said. He said, if I could go back, I would do it a lot faster so I can enjoy it a lot longer. Now, let me say that again. He said, if I could go back and do something over, I would do it a lot faster so I can enjoy it a lot longer. Why is that important when we talk about procrastination? Because we have to realize that we won't be here forever, right? And every day that you put off doing something that you need to do, that you should do, it's a day less that you have to enjoy the benefits of all your work. It's a day less that you have to enjoy it for yourself. It's a day, left, day less that you have to um, enjoy it with your family, with your kids, with your parents, with your spouse, with your friends, with, you know, it's just a day. It's, you, you, you're losing a day. So me, I'm a person that I always move with a sense of urgency. It's one of the, it's one of the best gifts that I, that I have right now. I move with a sense of urgency. Okay. And, and I, I really look to not procrastinate. And when I find myself procrastinating, it really bothers me. Right. So you have to move with a sense of urgency. And sometimes in life, for those of you who haven't done anything, you have to be willing to throw yourself in the deep, throw yourself in the water and then learn how to swim after. Right. So, so these are some things like, these are just some principles that I learned, but I, I thought that was so prolific when he said that he said, if I could do anything, if I could change anything, I would do it a lot sooner. So I can enjoy it a lot longer. And, and let me tell you, let me give you one of my, my, my goals. So my, my, this is a, a very pivotal, pivotal year for me. Um, this is the year where I set myself up to be very lazy. Okay, uh, My goal is to be a big kid for the rest of my life. I want to enjoy it. You know, I'm already thinking about, you know, moving and I, I want to be in a house simply because I want to have a, a theater and I want to have, you know, I, don't, I haven't played games in like, 12, 13, maybe 15 years, probably even longer than that. I don't do that, but I want to be able to just spend time with my kids, enjoy, buy a bunch of dumbass hobby things. I like electric stuff and I, and I, and I like it for like a week and then I, and then I just don't, but I, but I don't mind piling up a whole house full of electric skateboards, electric scooters, dirt bikes, like whatever I can get my hands on. Get Like, I just want to chill. I just want to chill. So guess what? I have to move with a sense of urgency. I have to act now. I don't have time to procrastinate, right? I have to like every single day from the time I get up to the time I go, I go to bed. I do, I, I, I give it my all. I'm gonna give you another gym. This is four, this is four gems. I don't know, man. Maybe I should save this and put this on YouTube. I haven't done that in a long time, but this is about to, <laughs> this is about to be a good one. I can promise you that, right? Right? So uh, every single day I give it my all, right? And I know, uh, I don't remember, I think this is actually the name of a book. I don't know, I don't, I think it's the name of the book. I don't remember the author or if it's a quote or whatever, but I just remember the saying. And here's what he said. <laughs> Drop it, right? Here's what he said. He said, all you can do is all you can do and all you can do is enough. Just make sure you do all you can do. Y'all got that? All right? you got that? That was good. That was good. Everybody... Put some, put some emojis in there. Put some emojis, put some fire emojis in there. He's, so I'm going to say it again. He said, all you can do is all you can do. And all you can do is enough. Just make sure you do all you can do. You see, the thing is, most of us, we don't really give anything our all. Like, when's the last time you threw your all at anything? Like, when's the last time you threw your all at anything, y'all? I mean, y'all, one thing I can say about me. Let me clap for me for a second. 2023? 2022, moving to 2023, every single day, I've been at it all day. Y'all see me, I'm up to four or five in the morning, 
right? And it ain't, it ain't, it ain't cool to, oh, just, I, I'm not up to four or five in the morning just to be up. I'm literally working. I force myself to go to sleep. Y'all, literally, when I get off this, I'm going to go shower and go lay in the bed because I'm forcing myself. I'm, I'm looking to change my, my patterns of sleep so I can get up early because one of my goals this year is to really work on my fitness and being in shape, right? So I want to really be able to get up early um, so I can actually work out. The problem is my mind at night, it really starts to click. I move at a different speed than I move during the day. During the day, tell you, I'm, I'm procrastinating, right? And I find myself doing stuff that I don't need to do. Like it's not, it's not moving me towards where I need to move. I'm over here. I'm wasting time. I'm talking. I might be scrolling through Instagram a lot longer, but guess what? Three, four, five in the morning, there ain't a lot going on on social media. The, you know, the kids are sleeping. I ain't got to worry about community. Like I could just go. And my mind is just working. It's, it's just quiet. Nobody's listening, y'all. So, so your boy is just, I'm looking to transition so I can get up early and do different things. But listen, in any case, I'm going to drop that one more time so we can, we can move on. I'm going to give you all two other things. We're going to get up out of here. But if y'all getting value out of this real quick, go ahead and type value. By the way, if you're on here um, and you're not doing nothing tomorrow, tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm actually doing a free masterclass. So, I'm a person that like one of my big, I found my big mission to be uh, is to help people who are working a job to create a income, a passive income or multiple passive incomes. So them working is a choice. It's not something that they have to do. I want you to understand that. Right. So that's my mission is to help. That's why I have something called the employee exit plan. So tomorrow I'm doing a free master class. It's called the employee exit plan. The way you can sign up for that is you can simply DM me the phrase exit plan, right? Exit plan, simple, right? And basically on the masterclass, I'm going to be teaching people how to go from being an employee to having multiple passive incomes without having to own anything or without the challenges of ownership. Because I know when people think about owning a business, starting a business, you think it's going to cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. You're going to have like hundreds of staff and you're going to have to get a building. It's not true, right? There's many businesses that you can start without owning, something. So I'm going to teach you how to create that income. You can do it part-time, but eventually the goal is to have your part-time turn into your full-time, to have your part-time income turn into your full-time income. If y'all picking up what I'm putting down, put a one in the chat real quick and we're going to move forward. All right. If y'all picking up what I'm putting down, put a one in the chat. So I, I showed you some books. I'll just, I'll just uh, make sure I gave y'all some of these. Uh, uh, the Millionaire Next Door, really good one. This is one of my mentors book, Johnny Wimbry. I'm actually listening. I was actually listening to this and, I, and I'm going to beat myself up for this because I was listening to this. I got um, a quarter through the book and I, and I haven't finished it, which is unlike me. So I actually have to finish this book, Building a Millionaire Mindset by Johnny Wimbry. OK, um, really good book. And. Uh, oh, this is a book that you have to read. I don't even I don't like moving my books. y'all. That's one thing about me. All right, I don't like moving my books, but I, I got to show you this. All right, I'm going to show you these books right here. So make sure y'all get in these books. Make sure y'all get in these books. They're really good. All right, so um, here's one. Think and Grow Rich, right, by Napoleon Hill. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to make this as simple as possible, right? Uh, make this as simple as possible. So I'm going to give you another. Damn, this is five. I'm going on five. I'm about to give you a, another prolific statement, y'all. Your boy is at number five. If Listen, I'm at number five, y'all. I need y'all to do me a favor. If you're getting value, once again, put value in the chat and send us out three more people. I'm about to say something else prolific. Like, I just feel like it's a, it's a prolific day, right? It's a prolific day. What's up, Bianca? Right? It's a, it's a, it's a prolific day. So listen, if you want to create success, find someone successful at what you want to do and do what they did. It ain't that simple. It's prolific. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. If you want to be successful... Find someone successful at what you want to do and do what they did. Really simple stuff, right? This is really simple stuff, but that's a prolific statement. I thought it was prolific. I'm going to say it one more time because I thought it was so good. If you want to be successful, find someone successful at what you want to do and do what they did, right? So here's what I learned about Think and Grow Rich. That's what I learned about Think and Grow Rich, right? Here's what I learned about Think and Grow Rich. I have tuned into so many um, entrepreneurs, so many high level leaders, so many multimillionaires, so many like just high level persons, right? 
I have tuned in. I'm going to give you another. I'm going to drop another one in between. Like, I'm dropping a prolific line in between a prolific line. Also, I'm going to say this one real quick and get back to the message. What you tune into is what you turn into. <laughs> I, I'm just telling you, because I told you I was tuning into some high-level leaders. I was tuning into. And what you t- if I'm tuning into high-level leaders, I'm bound to turn into a high-level leader. If I'm tuning into a high-level leader, I'm bound to turn into a high le- high-level leader because what you tune into, you turn into. So now that was in the middle. I, was, I said a prolific statement in the middle of a prolific statement. This is a prolific day and we're setting ourselves up to have a prolific year. So let's get back to it. That was a quick commercial day. Let's get back to it, right? So here's the deal. I've tuned into so many very successful people and there was one common book when they talked about different books that they read or different books that helped change their life or help change the trajectory, how you say the word, trajectory of their lives. And that book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It is one of the best books when it comes to thinking like a... uh, Thinking like a wealthy person. It's one of the best books I can think of. So that goes back to my statement. If you want to create success, find someone successful at what you want to do and do what they did. So if many successful people, many multimillionaires, many high level leaders have all pointed to this one book. If I want to be a millionaire, a multimillionaire, a high level leader, don't you think that I should tap into the book too, right? So make sure y'all tap into which book we were talking about, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, right? Here's another good one. I'm gonna t- touch on this real quick. What to say when you talk to yourself? You gotta, yeah, you gotta know what to say when you talk to yourself. So it's really important, you know, um, the things that you say to yourself really could change everything. I, I don't even know how. It's so important. And some of you guys are when you talk to yourself, you're not talking to yourself. Um, the best way. You're not talking to yourself the way that you should talk to yourself. So you need to literally train yourself to speak to yourself. You need to train yourself to speak to, oh, y'all. You need to train yourself to speak to yourself. Am I giving it today? Drop some fire emojis if you're getting some kind of value out of this. Right? You need to train yourself to speak to yourself. So here's the, right? You need to read that. What to say when you talk to yourself. Um, how successful people lead. Once again, if you're a person that you have mentorship programs, you're looking to have mentorship programs, you're looking to have coaching programs, you're looking to do courses, you're looking to provide some kind of service, right? You're looking to do any of that kind of stuff, right? You're looking to get, do any of that kind of stuff, then you need to read books on how to lead. Now, I'm going to say this for the people who hopped on here late. Uh, remember, if you're a person that's like me who don't like to really physically read books um, because of the way my day is set up, I now listen to audio books. So you can download something called Audible. It's through Amazon. I pay like $14 a month and every month they give me one free book. So every month I just download a free book and I read it. The good thing is now instead of it taking me two months to read books because your boy reads slow, now I can literally listen to someone reading the same exact book. Um, and I could do that over the course of a few days, right? So really good audible. Okay. So I'm going to give y'all, I think, I think I have, um, uh, I'll, I'll give I'm going to give y'all these two other books real quick. I'm not going to go too deep into it. Cause I want to give you the other two things and we're going to get up out of here. All right. So, um, as a man thinketh, um, by James Allen, uh, by James Allen, uh, really good book. Um, could be a little deep for some people. Um, but if you get it, you get it. Um, it's, uh, it has a lot of value in the book, right? A lot of value in that book. One of the books, one of the first books I read as I became an entrepreneur, I started my journey as an entrepreneur. Um, and then The Compound Effect, a really good one. The Compound Effect is a really good one. And I'm trying to think if I have, I know I have some more books up there. Um, and I'm trying to think of if anyone that I don't have up here that like you just absolutely have to read. Um, All right, we're going to leave it with that, y'all. I think that's good enough for that. So let, all right, let's move on to that. So that was just number one, right? Reading, right? Number one was reading. Now, now, now the next thing I'm going to give, give to you is, is, so we talked about reading. Now, let's talk about what you're watching. Um, one thing that I did, right? So this is the second, the second thing that can help you have a successful 2023. One thing that I did over the last two years, The Four Agreements is a really good book. Um, so I have a lot of books that I don't have the physical book um, because I have audio books and I can't... Uh, I can't go off here. I can't go off here and show y'all the audio book, my audio book list. Um, but what I what what I can probably do is, excuse me, y'all. 
I can probably take some screenshots and put it in my stories. So I have a lot of books that I'm just listening to. I don't have the physical book up here. And then I have some books up in the cabinet. So, um, yeah. In any case, uh, let's talk about this real quick. Two more things, right? So also what you what you watching, and this all goes into that statement, what you tune into is what you turn into. So um, I don't watch a lot of TV. I do like to um, engage in at least one Netflix series. I, I find like that's my that's like my my um, reward for the day. And usually around four or five in the morning, which is another bar, bad part, right? I'll go and I'll watch an episode or two of whatever show that I'm watching. And um, shout out to uh, The Blacklist. Uh, I've been watching The Blacklist over the last two months or so. It was so good, but it's, it's, it's bad because I was supposed to be going to sleep at four. Here I am watching two episodes talking about just one more, right? Yeah, I know what I mean. But in any case, we're not going to talk about that. That's the reward. But what do you need to be watching? So I made a commitment to myself that I was going to really um, engage in financial literacy and just really put myself in position to learn. And oh, I got another prolific one, y'all. I'm just going to call. Listen, I got to put this on YouTube. If you watch this on YouTube right now, I told you I was going to put it on YouTube before I put it on YouTube. And now it's here. It's right here on YouTube with a whole bunch of prolific statements. And if you got, if you, if you like these prolific statements, I need you to like and comment below. See, I'm getting ready for YouTube. I need you to like and comment below, right? And share this with a bunch of people. Okay, I'm getting my YouTube on. But in any case, right? I, your boy's going to get on YouTube, right? I got another prolific statement for you. I got another prolific statement for you, right? So here, here we go, right? 2020, 2020, 2021, 2022. I decided that I was going to spend more time with information than people. 2021, 2022, I decided I was going to spend more time with information than people, right? And I just realized I needed to be around information that stretched me. I need to be around people that stretch me. But unfortunately, I don't live around a bunch of people who are go-getters that I can I, I can constantly connect with. So if I can't get around the physical people, I can get around the people that's just given the information. How can I do that? YouTube, very simple, right? Very simple. I started going on YouTube and I started I started tuning into the right stuff. I started tuning into the right people. So I already gave you one person. I need y'all to write the name down. His name is Myron Golden. You need to, matter of fact, when you go, what I want you to do is the first thing I want you to look up is Myron Golden. It's probably going to be the first thing that pop up. And he says something about something of how to create a million dollars in 2023 or something like something like that like how to be a millionaire in 2023 how to create a, mi a, a million dollars in 2023 but myron golden is a great person to tap into if you're the person that you that, that you're tired of being average you're tired of just getting by you're tired of doing just enough and you really want to be a millionaire you need to tap into millionaires because what you tune into is what you turn into who you tune into is what you turn into. You need to spend more time with information than people, right? So the good thing is now you can get around information right on YouTube. And he has something that's great that's going to teach you how to easily make a million dollars, right? Easily make a million dollars, right? This is why I know that I'll make multiple millions this year. This year. Like, in, in my goal, I can tell you this, right? I think it's a, uh, I can't say I think. I have it on my phone, but I just, you know, I just kind of tapped into it. You know, it's definitely to do a, a minimum of $1.5 million this year. Right. And, and that's in profit. My goal is to do a million, a, a minimum of one point five million dollars in profit this year. I want to be clear. That means I have to earn more than one point five million dollars with my company. But that's the goal. Right. So I need you guys to tune into. So. So here's another thing I'm going to give you all really quick. I need you to write this down. I need you to write earn your leisure. Right. Right. It's, it's a podcast. And one thing that I did that added so much value to me is that uh, Earn Your Leisure is like the number one financial literacy podcast, in my opinion, in the world. I, 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 I'm pretty sure there's certain contents they're not number one yet, but I believe they're, they're number one on multiple continents, right? And um, they have people who are only qualified people. They, they, on, they only interview qualified people. That means if somebody's up there talking, you better believe they are qualified to teach you what they're talking about. Right. That means they are qualified to teach you what they're talking about. So when you watch it, understand that these people, what I did was I would watch the, the episode. I would learn a lesson and I would find out who they are. They say their name. They say their social media. I go find them and I follow them and I, and I just continue to be educated by them because I'm tuning into the right people. And I'm tuning into the right information. So what I would do is I would go and I would go to YouTube every day. I, I watch one episode a day. And all I would do is I would type in earn your leisure and then all of the different um, titles would come up and I would just scroll through titles and whatever title I was interested in for the day, I would watch it. Hey, I'm strolling through. I see a title that says how to how to purchase a car in your in your um, 
your business name. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me watch that. Hey, how this person, you know, made a million dollars off of uh, mobile homes. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let me watch that. And all I would do is watch. That's how I figured out some of the things that I wanted to do. Because all I did was I tapped into the podcast and I just learned from qualified people. Every time I felt like somebody gave a great podcast and they gave great information and it was valuable to me, even if their principles were just valuable, I would go and follow them. I would just go and follow them. I go follow them. I go watch it. And that's it. All right. So there's some things that y'all can do. So YouTube. Earn your leisure. I'm going to give you all that. Now, some of you, you need um, you need some like you need to be motivated. And I get it. Right. I'm a person that I'm, I'm a little past that. Like, I don't I don't need to. I don't need the rah rah. I don't need to wake up and be like, if you don't got the power, I don't need it. I don't need it. It's cool. It's cool to have. But I, I had it in my life. And, and and some people, you need that to start your day because you need to be motivated. Right. On um, me, I, I need to be inspired. I, I don't, I, I've been motivated for years. Right. So I just like to be inspired by certain people. I don't need to be motivated. It's a big difference between motivation and inspired. And we don't have a lot of time to break that down today, but we'll break it down one day. OK, but here's the thing. Right. So. For, for those of you who want to start your day off right and you need that energy, for some people you need it, right? Um, here's some people that you can tap into. So I need you to write this down, right? Les Brown, okay? And you can specifically look up this one. It's called um, Les Brown. Um, Jesus, what's the title? Les Brown. I want to I want to think of this without looking it up, y'all. I want to think of this how I look it up. Okay, y'all, I got it. I got it, right? Les Brown, it's not over until I win. Write that down. Les Brown, it's not over until I went. Now, I watched that specific one. I was at an event Les Brown actually spoke at, right? And Les Brown said, I want you to watch this 90 days straight. Now, I had no idea why he was why he was um, telling us to watch it 90 days straight. But you know what I knew? I knew that this man was getting paid over $70,000 an hour to speak. Like, if he spit on you by mistake, it would have cost you $5,000, <laughs> right? So here's the thing. He said, listen, um, <laughs> yeah, see, you know about Les Brown. This is Les Brown. You're playing to play a pop up, <laughs> right? So, um, so Les Brown is, is incredible, right? So you need to tap into that. He said, watch it 90 days. So I watched it 90 days and I'm pretty sure all the people in there, I'm pretty sure most of them didn't watch it 90 days straight, but your boy, I watched it 90 days straight, right? So it's, it's really good. So Les Brown, it's not over. Until I went, I actually watched it. I watched it 90 days, right? When life knocks you down, try to land on your back. Because if you look up, let me say it again. If life knocks you down, try to land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get your back up. What's up? What's up, Monty? Monty know what I'm talking about. He know what I'm talking about. So listen, y'all, tap into Les Brown. This is for the people. I already gave all of the books. I already gave, you know, a lot of that stuff already. I already gave you Myron Golden. I'm just, I'm giving you some, some people to tap into that you can get motivated by. Um, th here's a good thing I need you to, I want you to go onto YouTube and just type in Steve Harvey Jump. All right. Steve Harvey Jump. Right. You type that in. I think it's about a six or nine minute segment that he did after one of his shows. And it's, it's a very powerful message. And I want you, I'm gonna give y'all one more, right? Give y'all one more. Eric Thomas, right? So I want you to type in Eric Thomas. And I, when you go to YouTube, I want you to type in Eric Thomas Breathe. Okay. Eric Thomas Breathe. Another short segment, very powerful. So these are some things that you can watch, start your day off, get you motivated, right? So we already talked about two things. One is uh, reading, right? Remember, if you're a person that you don't like to physically read books, you can also download Audible, get that on Amazon. Pay a few dollars a month. They also give you one free book a month. Works out. Second thing is um, what you watch, right? What you watch. So like watching on YouTube. So I definitely told you to tap into like Myron Golden. I told you to tap into um, Les Brown, Eric Thomas. I told you to tap into um, Steve Harvey. And I told you to tap into Earn Your Leisure. You can watch one podcast a day, right? So remember, what you tune into is what you turn into, right? So these, these are things. You want to surround yourself with thinking that outthinks you, okay? You want to spend more time with information than people, right? If you want to be successful, you need to find someone successful at what you want to do and do what they did. If you want to be successful, find someone successful at what you want to do and simply do what they did. Like these are just some success principles, right? So I'm going to leave y'all with one other thing. 
I believe y'all. I said I'm gonna give y'all three things. And I feel like that three things turn to like thirty. But uh, but I, I hope hopefully y'all picking up what I'm putting down. In fact, if y'all picking up what I'm putting down, put a one in the chat. By the way, let me do a quick commercial. Quick commercial break tomorrow. Tomorrow I am doing a free. This is Thursday, right? I'm doing a free master class. Okay, and I have a goal. I have a mission. I'm on a mission to help as many people that are working a job create a good exit plan to get up out of there, to create enough passive income so they don't have to work a job. They only work it if they choose to. All right? You guys understand that? So I will be teaching you how to go from employee to multiple passive incomes without owning anything. Okay, I'm going to be doing that. And to, to tap in, all you have to do is you can DM me the phrase exit plan or you can go to employee exitplan.com. Simple stuff. All right. So last thing I'm going to get, I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm give to you and I'm going to get up out of here. The last thing is doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Is the third thing that you can do to create massive success in 2023. And that's to give. Give. Don't be the person always looking to get from people. Okay. How can you give? There's so many ways that you can give. Now, when I say give, some people, you're going to automatically think about money. And if you're thinking about money, one way to give is tithing, right? It's one way to give tithing. If you believe in that, do it, right? Uh, if you, if you, you know, you can give as far as, you know, uh, um, financially, I mean, you can see, you know, a, a, a mother and their child at a restaurant and pay for their food. You can see, you know, uh, homeless people or less fortunate people, um, out and you can buy them a meal, a meal. Like it's just give, like just give, give and, and give without needing to be recognized, without having to record it, without having to, um, you know, without having to get recognition for it, without having to talk about it. Just give. We do a lot of that. We do. We just give. Sometimes we just, you know, we'll leave a, a tip that it's a little extra because we know there's going to be a smile. And most times we do it and we leave and we don't even get a chance to look at the person's face. But this is just just give. Right. That's financially. But I'm not talking about that. Right. When I say give, I'm not just talking about financially. What I'm talking about is give. Right. So one thing that I'm doing right now is I'm giving information. For some people that, that hop on here, you may take this information and you may go do something with it. It may add some sort of value to your life. So whatever it is that you can give, maybe it's some knowledge, maybe it's some direction, maybe it's it's some um, you know information, maybe it's just connecting certain people. I don't know what it is, but find a way to give to people. I mean, when you give, y'all, when you give, I'm just telling you the return is incredible, right? And and you you really start to enjoy giving. So so give. Y'all got that? I'm going to leave y'all right there. Oh, that is incredible. That is incredible. Shout out to you. I pay for someone's rent for January and February. Um, also tithe, right? Also, also tithe. He gives, I'm also a tithe. He gives to the sower. I'm also a tithe. I, I figured that, right? So y'all, listen, y'all. Ho hopefully, hopefully y'all got value out of this. If you did, take a screenshot of me right now. <laughs> tag me in your tag me in your in your story. If you watch this on YouTube, it's because I decided while doing this right now that I was going to put it on YouTube. So if you watch this on YouTube, then you know that I that I that I did that I did something and and I and I set a commitment and I kept my commitment. So I'm gonna leave you with one more prolific statement simply because there's been a whole bunch of prolific statements going on. So I might as well leave you with one more as you get up out of here, right? So the last one is if you see me on 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 um YouTube. That's because I kept a commitment. And in 2023, you know what I want you to do? I want you to stay committed to your commitments. I want you to stay committed to your commitments. All those things that you said you were going to do this year, I want you to stay committed to that thing. And I want you to go out and really and really work hard at those commitments that you made. Like every day, stay committed to it. Don't lose it. Got it? All right. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all hopping on here. I said I was going to be on here for 15 minutes. I don't know how long this has been, but I feel like it's been valuable. So before we get off here, if you feel like it's been valuable, go ahead, take a screenshot, put this in your stories, drop some fire emojis, and I look forward to connecting with you. For those of you who are going to be on the free masterclass, tap it with your boy, EmployeeExitPlan.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> right, man. I'll check y'all later, man. Take care.